I have a different take on it because what I think about a man, you know, I think that everything starts with him, starts and ends with him, right? There is this blame game and this relational war within our community and it's so problematic, right? There's a lot of hurt on both sides, you know, a lot of blaming on both sides. But me, the buck's gonna stop with me. That's not saying that she doesn't hold no accountability, but it's gonna start with me and it's gonna end with me. And I think that if we as males and men begin to take that particular perspective, we'll be more careful on who we put our dicks in. Yeah, thank you. Speak, be, speak clear, Mayno. I feel like we are responsible. We all have accountability and I don't wanna point the blame either left or right. I, I, but I, I have a question. If a man is dealing with a woman and woman says, look, I'm on birth control, you know, it's good. And I'm like, I don't wanna have no more kids. And then, you know, she ends up pregnant down the line. And then you say, well, how, do you, how did you get pregnant? She said, well, I, I, I missed a few days, but I, I, I wanna have this baby. After I already said, I don't wanna have no more, no more kids, Whose fault is that? Okay, I got an answer, but I'm gonna let Dre okay. answer from male perspective. I'll again, take from female again, perspective. there's already lack of trust. Just like Slim said, there's a lack of trust within women within itself. So if that's the case, and you're listening to what a woman is saying, and you trust in that, I think that's problematic on a man's half. If you already know what's out there, I'm gonna continue to strap myself up because I'm not gonna leave anything to chance. Because you know what happens when you leave stuff to chance, chance happens to you. I, let me take, give you an example from a woman's standpoint. You can tell me I had a vasectomy. I'm not leaving that trust to you. I'm not, I'm not even leaving that up to you because I do take the position from a woman's standpoint, getting pregnant is absolutely up to me. So I take a, autonomy of my own body. So the same way we say ch choice, I have the choice to make you strap up. I got the choice to make sure I got an IUD right. every five years. I make that decision. I don't leave it up to you because you can tell me whatever you want to because y'all all say, I want you to be my baby mama. They done all said that. Yeah. So ain't nobody falling for that. So I leave it up to me. But I think what Dre is saying is, do you take ownership and saying I'm gonna trust her or take the ownership on like your you own? Like you taking. Like I'm taking exactly. and we're both taking that responsibility, exactly. right Dre? That's exactly what I'm saying. So by the man trusting the female that's telling him, you look, we dealing with each other, I'm on birth control, it's cool. I know you don't want kids, it's cool. And you trust her and then she ends up pregnant down the line, is it your fault because you trusted her? No, that's not what she's saying. You're dealing with the secondary. The primary is, I'm not gonna trust me having a baby to nobody. That's right. That's the primary. Now, when you say I'm gonna trust her, that's a secondary position because you ain't taking responsibility for your primary. Your primary is, but I'm not no, about to this, put myself in a situation. That's not what the original question was, though, bro. The original question was, whose fault is it, right, when having these kids? That's, so I gave you a scenario that, that, that fit the question. And I told the you, question was, I told you, who's the blame? At any time you give something important to yourself over to somebody else, it's your fault. So that's the, that's the man's fault. I just for said, trusting. I'm not even just talking trying to about... Be correct. Just, look, just I'm trying not, to understand what you're saying. I'm not saying trust them. Trust them about this. If you ever lend your something this important and you give that up to somebody else when you have the opportunity to protect yourself, but you don't because you trust in somebody else, that's a weak perspective there because I'm not going to do it. Understand that everything that we're talking about is hypothetical, so it's the man's fault because he's It's not really it. hypothetical because it, it happens in our community, so but, but go ahead. Yeah. She doesn't bear no accountability for the fact that yeah. she misled him? Yeah. Of course she does. Of course she does. But we're not talking about accountability. We're talking about who's at fault. If I'm talking to young black brothers out there right now, I'm going to tell them, bruh, let me tell you what can happen to you. I know you trust her. I know that's your baby mama, and you in love. But in certain scenarios, in certain situations, you're gonna have to take a man's position to protect yourself if this is something that you do not absolutely want. And the only way you can do that is you take the initiative to protect yourself every time until you're ready to have a child. I would tell a young man that. I ain't gonna tell him, oh, well, just go trust somebody because you love her. So to answer her question that she posed earlier, it's the man's fault. You, you keep wanting to put right. it down. Let me, let me break it down to you. It's, it's both the fault. It's, it's two adults that, that got into a situation. That's what I said. Where I that, said it's right. I what, said what, it's but, but all see, of but, us. But see, what, but I'm see, talking to a youngster, though. I'm telling the youngster, look, yeah. bro, don't do this, because if you do this, you give this over here the possibility of happening, right? So if you right. do this, 
Mm -hmm. You put yourself in the situation right. and you at fault. If my son was in the situation and I told him not to do that because that could happen, I'm going to tell my son it's his fault. But dad, she told me she was on birth control. What did I tell you? I told you to take the initiative to protect yourself. That's and right. And if you didn't, you allowed chance to happen to you and that's your fault. Right. And, and, and my answer, mm -hmm. from the woman perspective, because, again, remember, this is why I love this conversation, because so many times we have put the blame on each other, and what you're hearing is two people accepting personal accountability for our own actions. Even though you kept asking repeatedly, well, whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? No, I'm taking responsibility for getting pregnant. And Dre is saying he's taking responsibility for getting somebody pregnant. And that's the conversation that we're not having on the personal accountability. Because even though me as a married woman, with a husband that wanted a baby for seven years, I took personal accountability for myself when I was ready to have a child. He respected that, but I knew that, hey, this relationship may or may not work out. And guess what? He's the best co-parent ever. We live in the same city. He's 15 minutes away. I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose any other man in the world. Mm -hmm. But I had to make sure that I was mentally prepared, financially prepared, physically prepared, because I knew that at the end of the day, like y'all have both pointed out, this child is going to be with me, because I wasn't going to give my child up, you know? Yeah. So I had to take personal responsibility. So we didn't spend a bunch of time whose fault is it not fault. And I was a whole married woman. I knew that when I got pregnant, I'm going to take that responsibility for myself. So I kept IUD in me every five years to make sure that it wasn't no slipping. So what I think, and I'm glad but you kept me, asking say, that let me repeatedly. Get that Mano. Mano, yeah. let, 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 me, let me ask you the question but your son, if you told your son right. what I would tell my son, and he came back and told you, but dad, I trusted her, but what did you tell him? Who would you say fault it is since you want to ask whose fault? Well, I'm not the one asking whose fault. No, I'm she asking you now, though. Because that was the question. But I'm asking you. She's she, asking you now. Because then we're doing listen, scenarios listen. now. I'm giving you a scenario. If right. it's your son. Well, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. I started my conversation out by actually saying it's all of us. All of us has, has, has have responsibility. Okay. I have accountability. If I do something, I'm accountable for that. If my son does something that leads to something else, he's accountable. I was I was being devil's advocate and giving you a scenario just to just to see what where we was at in the conversation right. and, and, I got and you. who we needed so whose fault it was. Right. This I got is you. not my personal But I but fault. I do but I so do want to know I do want to know personally though, but as before we wrap up, whose fault would it be? The same question that you asked. Both? Equally both? If you told so your quick. son, you already I, answered I, because you who? already said if you if, if right. you, your son would be responsible. And let me just say something to you. And that's manliness and that's fatherhood what you just said. That's manliness. Right, but I started my conversation off like that. But I'm, yeah, but I'm, I'm picking if it back I, up and saying man. that's manlyhood and that's fatherhood right Indeed. there. Indeed. Please believe right. me. Right. 